Hi, this is Guns2111. And I'll be showing you how to make a pressure, a pressure pad. It's just a piece of foam and foil and a bit of cardboard. And when you squeeze it, it will make the connection and you have a circuit. You can use this to power an LED or a buzzer like I've done here. Okay, so let me show you how to build it. First, you need to get some cardboard. Just regular cardboard. Cut it into the size that you want the pressure pad to be. I'm making a small one because I don't have much more cardboard left. So, once you have your two squares of cardboard, you need to get some compressible foam and cut two strips. And this will be for the part, the pressure pads. Two strips. Take some electric tape and cut it about twice the length of the strips. Or if you want it stronger or whatever, cut it less length. Cut the strip of tape in half. You have two strips. Then bend, fold them over to make circles like that. Take the circles and stick them to the back of the foam. And stick that foam to the cardboard. Repeat for the next piece. Now, using some tin foil, make a bit of a connection pad for the two for, to make the connection for the pressure pad. And put that onto the pressure pad and fold that edge over so that you have it on the back. Now, with some electrical tape, I'm going to stick that down. Like so. Make sure that there is foil still showing or else it will not work. Now, with the remaining foil, wrap it over your other sheet of cardboard. Cut it if it's too big or too small. Well, get a nice piece if it's too small, actually. Now, that can go over there. And if you see, inside of this piece, that piece of foil makes connection with that. And which can, which will complete the circuit. Now, using masking tape, put a few wraps around the entire pressure pad to hold it together. Do not put it too tight, or else you'll have the circuit already connected and it won't work. Just wrap it up a little bit, make it like a par a parcel or something, right? And then take your two wires one going to like the buzzer and the other going to the power source and stick it into the foil on the opposite side and stick it down with electrical tape Do this on both sides to secure both wires. With that flap that's there, just stick it underneath and stick it down with a small piece of electric tape. Like this. Once that is done, 
it's good to go and it will work pretty well it's very sensitive you could put this under like a carpet when somebody walks on you'll hear a buzzing noise maybe even under somebody's pillow so when they lie down they're like and they get scared so yes that there you have it a buzzer a pressure pad that can activate a buzzer or whatever else you want you could even activate another circuit that then activates a buzzer and that keeps the buzzer running for longer than if you just stand on it for a few seconds yep and that is the pressure pad